So next we're going to look at the screen enhancements in Zoom Text Magnifier Reader and we have four different things here. We have colour, pointer, cursor and focus. Colour is the colour scheme so you can change the colour scheme to something like invert brightness and now it switches the brightness so we now have white on black rather than black on white and then we can switch that back to normal. We have lots of inbuilt schemes here and um, yellow on black, blue dye, black and white and there's custom um, settings as well so you can change all the colours and have different saturations. We'll leave it as normal for now as I go through this demo and we'll move on to pointer. So this is the mouse pointer. So again we have a good few schemes I quite like the giant green one. Now my point is much easier to see. Um, but again, I can choose one of the schemes. See, there's a yellow with crosshairs as well. If that was easier to find your way around the screen, I'll go back to my giant green. And just to say there is a custom setting. So you can go into the settings and change color, size and various other um, features to do with using your pointer. So the third one is cursor here. This is to do with your text editing, making that vertical line between your letters much easier to see. So for example, if we were in, if I press the Windows key, it takes us down to the search box and I can type in here word and you can see the blue wedges showing me where I am with that text cursor. And finally here we have the focus. So this is just going to give um, some indication of what we're focused on when we're using the PC. So we have again a load of suggested schemes. So I have red rectangle or red box I like to call it. So the red box shows me what I'm focused on. So if I go to a icon on the desktop and I move around, the red box is gonna move around with me. So that is the screen enhancements. Again, it doesn't have to be red. It can be green. It can be just a horizontal line underneath, whatever you're focused on. We have lots of custom settings that you can change on the screen enhancements. And there are also keyboard shortcuts. So for example, I can change the color doing caps lock C and we switch to whatever color scheme I chose before. <laughs>